Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about how I organize my A-level biology notes. So I got this simple lever arch file from QConnect on Amazon, and I'll just leave that on the link down below. But the first thing you see when I first open it is this little summary sheet that I made the summer before I started sixth form. I made a little table of contents at the very front. As I open it, the first thing you'll see is the module summary, which just shows every topic that I was going to need to learn about. Here are the exam papers that I never got to do, including what topics would be in them. Then, on the next page, you can see the components of the way that each exam paper would have been laid out, including the practical endorsements. So here are the assessment objectives I would have needed to achieve. And on the next page, you'll see the symbols glossary. Each specification has its own little symbol collection, and I just wrote down anything that I would need to know while I looked through the spec. Here are also some equations that I would have needed to know. And here's a list of every single practical endorsement that I would have needed to do. I never actually ended up taking any of them off, so here you will see me doing that. It's quite satisfying. And here's a little smiley face. Okay, on the page after that, there's a little math skills log, and it just tells you everything you need to do maths related within the spec. Okay, let's quickly put that back. Um, and let's take out my modules checklist. So I did actually also make this myself, but you can find free ones online, and I'll link that down below. So essentially, I made little checkboxes for the notes that I'll have to take and the self-tests that I'll need to do for each section of the specification. I went through the specification one by one and just listed every single objective I would need to achieve by the end of course. So I made these little page dividers with sticky notes at the top to find the modules quicker in this arch file. It just has a little summary of what that module's about and which paper it belongs to. So module one is basically just a practical based module and it just talks about everything you will need to know for the endorsement. Here is a little practical skill sheet that we will need to know for the exams that our teachers gave us. And it just talks about the main points and definitions that we will need to be able to describe and define. Um, it also talks about what things we will need to analyze or draw conclusions from because there are a lot of practical based questions within each exam that we could be asked about. Here is a little summary of all specimens we will need to know for microscopy. And then they made this wonderful handy little table that talks about every single type of experiment they could mention within the actual exams. So here's an additional list of practicals that we did in lessons that we might not actually have notes on and that we will need to link back to certain aspects and topics within. And here's a little table of advantages and disadvantages between computational tools and data logging. So I had also made a little checklist for module one, but it basically just included any objectives that I would need to achieve during my practical laboratory sessions, which the teachers would give you already. So I didn't really use that too much. So those page divider sticky notes at the top I got from Posted on Amazon. I'll link those down below. Here is what my notes look like. Now, I use this paper called White Lines. Oops, I don't know where that came from. Um, and I will show you that in a second. And here is a little bookmark that I actually made myself with a piece of string and one of those house wallpaper sheets. So, I also have little question papers that I made for each section. And essentially, I just went through past paper questions, and once I did all of the past paper questions I could possibly find, I made this little sheet with questions that I made from my notes, as well as questions from my past papers, 
included a little mark scheme for myself so that I could constantly test myself and just memorize the mark scheme essentially. So here's an example of photosynthesis and I'm going to show you the supplies that I use for each of these topics but first I'm going to show you a couple more prettier looking pages just to give you an idea of what my notes look like. So here is the topic of respiration. This particular section is on oxidative phosphorylation and what I use for my titles is the Tombow Fudunosuke brush pen and I just do a little simple calligraphy just to make it really cute. I also get a little accent art as a fine liner for the headings and anything I want to underline or color in. And here is my pencil case. I'm just going to grab uh, some of the other supplies that I use from here, um, which is the Narita 0.5 millimeter pen. And sometimes I use my Muji 0.38 millimeter pen. Um, and here is my yellow pastel stabilo highlighter that I use for um, the little top heading thingy. So here is a white lines paper that I use for my notes. Um, I like to complete the topic on here before I take it out and transfer it to my arch file. Here is the topic of excretion. I have made a little diagram of the liver lobule down there and I just really like labeling it and I like the fact that you can scan this paper as well. Excuse the fact that it says computer science because I've definitely never done a computer science note in there. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, then please hit the thumbs up and yeah. Subscribe if you want to. Bye!